Hello everyone, Scooby Foo here. It's a new season, which means new guns, new activities, the updating of recently released videos, and most importantly for today, new stasis aspects and fragments. Let's not waste any more time and first cover the new fragments we've got, so that we have those in our back pocket when we're going over the aspects. Whisper of Conduction. Nearby stasis shards track to your position, along with plus 10 resilience and intellect. The radius for the shard tracking is huge, otherwise very simple, but very nice for stasis shard based builds. Oh, and before I continue, in case you forgot, stasis shards refund partial melee energy and are created by any of the aspects that have Harvest in their name. Anyways, Whisper of Hunger increases the melee energy gain from picking up stasis shards, along with minus 10 mobility and recovery. Another shard-focused fragment, as far as I can tell, it roughly doubles the energy gain from stasis shards. Definite must-use for any builds that make heavy or maybe even any use of the Harvest aspects. Whisper of Rending. Kinetic weapons deal increased damage to stasis crystals and frozen targets. No stat changes. Full disclosure, I personally don't have this or the next fragment yet, as we can only get two per week, so I can't give you exact numbers. But I can see the potential of using the increased damage to frozen targets plus Whisper of Hedrons to get mad damage bonuses for something like a rocket launcher or Izanagi's Burden. Once I have the fragment or otherwise know how big the damage increase is, I'll put those numbers in the pinned comment. Finally, Whisper of Rhyme. Collecting a stasis shard grants a small amount of overshield, which falls off after 10 seconds. Collecting additional shards adds to the overshield and refreshes the timer. No stat changes. Remember how they just made it so that you stand a chance of killing a behemoth super in PvP? <laughs> yeah, no. Not anymore. Using this with behemoth will be ridiculous, but outside of that one use case, I'm not sure that this will be worth running if you consider that we just got Whisper of Conduction, which will allow you to pick up shards from further away, potentially negating the need for the overshield in the first place. Again though, I don't have this yet. However, going off what I've seen from other people, it seems like Rhyme is silly in PvP. Can't say how it'll be for PvE yet though. Again, any relevant info for this will be put in the pinned comment once I have it. Alright, got all that info in your noggin? Cool. Now that we're up to speed on fragments, let's cover the aspects. Warlock first, Glacial Harvest. Freezing targets creates stasis shards around them. Higher tier targets create more shards, specifically one for miners, two for majors, three for ultras, and two for freezing a guardian. Not much else to say about this on its own other than that the shards regen around one-seventh of your melee energy. Here's what I've got on Warlock right now. I'm running Cold Snap Grenades and Ice Flare Bolts alongside the new artifact to better chain freezes. For Fragments, I'm running Whisper of Fractures, Conduction, Hunger, and Hedrons, although I may run Whisper of Rhyme once I have that instead of Hedrons, if the overshield provided is good enough. Overall, I'd say that with Whisper of Conduction, this is a top tier aspect for PvE, and considering that the Warlock melee is an insta-freeze in PvP, you can put those two together, I'm sure. As far as weapons go, you can run Cryosthesia if you want, so that you can free stuff without using an ability. Otherwise, close range weapons will do just fine, since you'll want to be using your melee ability as often as possible. For exotics, Claws of Ahamkara for doubling your melee charges, or I have another world for increasing all your ability cooldown speeds will give you a lot of mileage. Hunters, hunters, touch of winter. Your Glacier, Duskfield, and Cold Snap grenades have enhanced functionality. Glacier grenades have one additional crystal and change formation into a circle. Duskfield grenades become huge and create a small stasis crystal in the middle. And Cold Snap grenades have the Seeker travel farther, faster, and chain one more time. <sighs> oh no. I'm gonna keep it straight with you. Right now, this is probably the best hunter aspect we have. Duskfields are amazing for PvE and Cold Snaps... <sighs> I'd rather not think about that in PvP. Right now, I run Duskfield Grenades and Grim Harvest alongside the new aspect, and for Fragments, I use Whisper of Hedrons, Durance, Conduction, and Shards. Shards normally wouldn't work with the Duskfield, but luckily we can make use of the small stasis crystal and shatter that to get the grenade regen buff. For weapons, it's not a bad idea to run something with Demolitionist so that you can get your Duskfield back more often, but unless you're running something like Bacchus with it, I wouldn't worry much about specific weapons. Titans, Diamond Lance. Shattering or defeating targets with stasis abilities creates a stasis lance, which you can pick up. Then either throw to freeze on impact or slam into the ground to damage and freeze targets in a small area. Titans, I'm gonna keep it real here, you drew the short straw. The damage from the spears isn't even high enough to kill a red bar minotaur in a patrol area with a slam or the throw. And while sure, you can chain them if you wait for the cooldown before throwing the spear, it's really just not worth it at all in PvE. In PvP, the spear has the same shortened freeze as cold snap grenades on a throw and a full regular freeze duration on a slam, giving you essentially an extra free kill after you shatter someone. But let's be real here, in PvP you're running Cryoclasm and Howl of the Storm, so yeah, not even gonna bother with a build for it. 
Guess that's it though. Two out of three aspects being useful ain't bad. Good stuff overall for Stasis this season with the fragments too. Next video will be a bit delayed as I'll be streaming my prep for day one Vault of Glass, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and join the Discord so that you know when I'm live on the 22nd. As well, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and a comment. I'd like to know what everyone else's favorite aspects or fragments are from this season. For now though, I've been Scooby Foo. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone. So hello. Hello, 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 everyone. Scooby, for few weeks, Scooby, 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 Scooby,